He's think? awesome. Yeah? Yeah. I got to tell you, man, I heard a lot of applause out there tonight. I feel like you got more applause than anybody else on that entire fight card tonight. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. What did that feel like for you? Loved. Were you looking forward to this a bunch coming b before you got here tonight? No. You weren't looking forward to it? He, he really had no clue about what was happening before we... He knew the one person he was actually coming with was Justin because I told him earlier this morning. He had no idea that Raphael and Gerald were meeting us here as well to see him. So, so you didn't know you were going to get to do that cool walk out with those guys? No. <laughs> Man. What do you think about the whole, the whole situation? Was this the coolest thing you've ever got to do so yeah. far? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yes. Be yourself. Don't be nervous. Be yourself. No, there it is. Go. It's uh, the coolest thing. What was uh, what was one of your favorite parts? Was it going backstage and meeting the fighters beforehand? Yeah, that, that was probably the coolest part. Show, show them your, your hands. You got show your, your hands wrapped yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Did you get some gloves as well? Yeah, I got gloves. What color were they? Okay. Blue. The blue ones. All right. What about, uh, let's see. What about Aaron fighting? You have to go back and yeah. meet Aaron? Yeah. It's a big night for us. Big yes. night. Justin, talk to us a little bit about, about kind of taking up this cause and, and when you found out about this whole situation and sort of what it sparked in you to, to say, you know what, man, I'm going to step in here. There's something I can do to, to help this out. Sure. Um, uh, I, first, like we've been overwhelmed with the support of everyone around Oklahoma country yes. even the world like where where do we get the open uh, presence from some of the countries yeah like france germany and, yeah uh, japan yeah japan and, uh, japan sent us uh, shirts yeah some like pro wrestling stuff it's just been overwhelming all the support and uh but i would want to say like i'm i'm not the hero of the story there's actually a, a, a girl named emily um that saw uh, the video a classmate of his um, and she sent it to uh, the director of our nonprofit. He got it to me. I reached out to Danny, um, and then it's been amazing. Yeah. Next week, Teddy Atlas and uh, AJ Buckley uh, from SEAL Team on CBS are flying us out to where? California. That's right. We're going to go to LA, and what do, what do we get to do? One of the things Disneyland. Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Disneyland too? Yeah. We just go to Universal. This will be your um, first time in California? Yeah. Be his first time in an airplane, him and his brother both. Period. So, yeah. well, are we gonna go to the beach? Yeah. yeah. So well, it's a lot just of big been, stuff happening for you here, man. Yeah, it's gonna feel pretty good, huh? And so, like, taking over up the cause, stand with Raiden. I mean, that was, uh, I, I was in the same shoes as him, so was his dad, um, and even Raphael had, had grown up and gotten bullied. And so, our mission for Fight for Forgotten's expanded beyond just the pygmy people group, who are the most oppressed or bullied people group on, on the planet but now also here stateside. Uh, we've been working on a bully prevention curriculum for well over a year now. Um, and then when this happened, it was just like serendipitous or synchronicity. It was like it was supposed to happen. And how can we turn this really negative, bad thing into something really good and positive for Raiden, his brother Brock, their family, their community, and then, and then it's turning into bigger than that. It was right in our backyard. Um, so, you know, it's even more uh, responsibility to jump in and uh, I'm looking forward to having Raiden um, and his brother Brock uh, join my martial arts academy very soon. Uh, he's doing his hyperbaric chamber uh, treatments right now with, uh, with Justin, and hopefully at the end of that, sometime early next year, um, he'll be ready to join. And we're looking forward to having him on our mats. Um, and we'll be in a brand new school. I just uh, secured a new location for my academy. Um, we'll be in there January 2020, um, and uh, we can't wait to have, have Raiden on our mats. And, and get him learning the, the martial arts lifestyle and empowering him through martial arts um, and just continue the work that, uh, that Justin started and you know keep spreading the love and the martial arts yeah. um, throughout for all the kids. One of, one of my beliefs is that martial arts changes lives, transforms lives, and I think we can speak and if you ask anyone on Bellator UFC, like probably seven, eight, nine out of 10 of us were bullied um, and weren't the bully. And so martial arts helped us gain confidence and. Character um, and gives us uh, friends, yeah. and outlet, yeah. yes. family, um, and uh, and it definitely gave me hope whenever I was suicidal and and and, uh, and yeah, just incredibly bullied. Like it was more the martial art of wrestling for me, and then I found jujitsu and uh, MMA and everything else. And so when I found MMA, I thought. Um, I'd been saving up for, I never even told you the story, I was saving up for a BB gun, and I went to like a flea market, a place that sold a bunch of stuff. I 
found MMA. I found UFC like two through nine or 11. And when I picked it up, I thought, my first thought was these guys don't get bullied. Um, and then I turned it over and then I found out like they knew how to defend themselves, but they were almost like superheroes. Uh, to me at 13 years old, and that's when I found it. And, um, and then I fell in love with the chess match of it. Where Raphael always talks about how he's telling you about how submissions are so controlled and, and strategic. And, um, and then he was just in there uh, getting his hands wrapped. And we said, what was your favorite part of the night? And he goes, what'd you say? Hand wraps, but also he said, Submissions. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. submissions. Yeah. That's what you said. I said, Aaron, Aaron got the choke. Yep. And that was, we work hard. That was exactly what we wanted him to do. He did exactly what we trained to do. So it doesn't, nothing happens by accident. You know, they, exactly. they spend hours and hours and hours training repetitions over and over and over and over again to make it happen in a split second on that level, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun and you get addicted. So be ready. Once you start, you're not going to want to stop. <laughs> One of the things my goal is uh, with Raiden and his family is just get Raiden and his brother Brock like, surrounded by other like, mentors and role models. And I'm, I'm a fighter, and yeah, I have a nonprofit, and I have a heart for him and kids being bullied. But they need people like Raphael and, and, and his life, loving on him too for everything he brings to the table. And uh, other people in different areas, but we're going to go ahead and in LA, we get to meet with one of the top nutritionists for actors and things like that. He's going to get him on a great diet plan to help him with his diabetes. And uh, it's just going to be, we're just surrounded with you with love, man. Right? And that's that's yeah. one thing about his mom and I, you know, we didn't want, we weren't trying to take his negative situation and make it a big publicity stunt. And that's what Justin has not done. Um, we We had several people reach out to us like, hey, we want to help represent you. We want to do this. We want to do that. After going through some of the Facebooks and stuff and looking at those people reaching out, you know, they were just doing it for numbers of kids. How many kids I got to help today or whatever, you know, just to get their name bigger. Uh, what, what made us choose Justin so much and what he's got going is he personally reached out to me through uh, Facebook Messenger and left me a few short messages about how he wanted to be a part of my son's life. and and just wanted to step up and help and, and give him the friend that he needed that wasn't his dad, you know? And that to me is a lot. Like Justin and I have talked a lot about this and uh, we've spent a lot of time together and that, that to us as parents just means a lot that you're not wanting to take something super negative that's happened and make it so much better for yourself. And what Justin's done is uh, none of the stuff that him or Raphael or anybody has done for us, we, we have not asked for any of that. Uh, this guy took my son, sorry I get emotional, um, he took a bad situation and he's made it nothing but positive. And that's for him, that's for his nine year old brother, for me, for his mom. Um, it just touches me as a dad knowing that Justin and I fall pretty much from the same tree when it comes to the past we were raised on and uh, only being five years apart. Um, it just makes me feel good as a dad when Justin calls or sees Raiden and he's like buddies and my son loves him like, like an uncle. And I've, I've uh, we, my wife and I have, uh, we've deemed him family for life. Like he's never gonna get rid of us and Raphael as well. Um, these two were two of the very first guys that my son actually got to meet and intervene with uh, after I got the phone call from Justin. And both of my sons were there. Um, yes, it's about Raiden and his negative situation, but we, we don't want this to trickle down to other generations and other kids, you know? This is what Justin's trying to fight and what he's trying to stop. And that's what the fight for the forgotten and uh, the bully organization and, and the curriculum and everything that Justin's got. I actually have a copy of it. I was blessed to get a copy of it um, through this situation to see what it's about. and. I can't say enough how much that curriculum is going to be able to help in the future because there's so much stuff in there that people are blind to that they don't know about if they've never been put in the situations like we have uh, that you can learn from that. And I think what Justin's doing with Fight for the Forgotten uh, with Raphael, uh, you know, and, and the Lovatos reaching out to us. Um, Gerald Harris, just everybody that surrounded us. Dylan Danis, who actually made the video huge uh, because Justin posted it, told the story out in California, and then Dylan got the video, and after Dylan posted the video, it actually had like 10 million plus hits the last time we looked at it. Uh, 
and that was just on Twitter. Yeah, that was just on Twitter. That's not including the people that went in, looked at the video, and then tweeted it back out themselves. Um, but just the support that he's had, uh, whether it be from computers, whether it be from a phone call, um, whether it be from somebody sending a letter or a card. We can't thank you guys enough for the reach out and the support. And uh, go to fightforforgotten.org and follow this guy. Uh, his, his foundation and his organization, uh, it's helped me as a parent and a dad, and it will help the next person that is a victim of bullying. This guy, please look it up and, and reach out to Justin and just say thank you if nothing else, because if we can stop one kid from being bullied, then Justin's curriculum has worked. Um, and that's something that a lot of people don't understand. They say, well, it's only one kid. It don't matter if it's just one kid or if it's a hundred. If we've stopped something with that one kid through what Justin's doing, then Justin's successful. And that's the way I see it as a dad because I've seen success just in the last 40 days that we've known each other uh, with what he's done with Raiden and the, and the treatments and everything. So we can't say thank you guys enough. Uh, MMA all across the world, Bellator, UFC, all of it. Um, these two, especially these two individuals, and, and Gerald Harris, uh, Justin knows where we stand with this. Uh, we, we forgive those babies for what they did. And uh, if it wasn't for this guy, man, he's been my rock and my wife's rock when we needed a rock to lean on. And he's been our Kleenex when we needed to wipe a tear away. And uh, had he not been there with us through everything that we've done so far, we wouldn't be fighting this battle because we were just going to sweep it under the rug. And uh, like I said, Justin stepping in, not wanting to make this a big publicity stunt, but actually caring about my, both my boys, telling them you know, that he does love them and showing that compassion and that, and that love for him. To me and his mom, man, that makes you feel great as parents to know that there's somebody outside that actually gives a damn about your kids. And that's what I have to say about this whole thing right here. I love you, brother, more than like, you know. Raiden, have you heard from other kids who have said, hey man, we heard what you went through and, and you're helping you're helping them out now? Have you heard from other kids about that? What did that kind of what did that make you feel like? Knowing that yeah, knowing that you're helping other kids too. Mm -hmm. It's a great responsibility to have, I think, right? I appreciate it, man. It was good to meet you. Thank you guys very much.